Hey there, Petra here. I've got a great exercise for you today that's going to help you if you've got plantar fasciitis, uh, if you have a lot of wear and tear on your forefoot, so forefoot pain, but also hammer toes or a big callus under your forefoot, or just generally weak toes. So uh, this is something that I definitely have been experiencing for a long time, trying to figure out what to do about it. And this is going to be my go-to exercise for the next little while, so I'll post an update at some point. Uh, but it's a great exercise for rebuilding what's called the transverse arch from the side of the toes if your toes are weak. So first of all, how do you know if your toes are weak? So first of all, if you have any of those uh, issues I just mentioned, probably weak toe flexors. Um, but here's a simple test you can do as well. So what you want to do is find yourself a chair or something to lean on, and you're going to go up onto one foot, and you're going to push yourself forward like you were walking. So that's kind of what your back leg should do when you toe walk in walking. And if you see that all your toes crunch up and kind of curl in the middle, that's a weak toe. That's hypermobile. So we don't want that. We want your toes to be able to press down strongly and straight instead of crinkling like that. So simple exercise. You want to start this in a chair so you're not overloading your feet. And what you're going to do is you're going to see if you can press your toes down flat into the floor. So no crinkle for the press. And you're trying to lift up your toe knuckles here. You're trying to create the, the toe end of the transverse arch so that your whole toe area lifts up. You're going to have a little bit more space under your foot when you do this. I'll show a close up as well. Pressing down straight with your toes, it's like a toe push up. So doing uh, 10 to 20 of those a bunch of times a day is going to be super, super helpful in starting to create some muscle and control around those toes. So that's step one. And step two is going to be pressing down with those toes, keeping them pressed down straight, keeping that arch through that midfoot, and then pressing up with your heels. That's called plantar flexion. You're, you're pointing your toes through your ankles. Keep the toes straight as you lift. Quite a lot more work. So that's kind of step two. And then once you've got all that nailed, you can start worrying about doing that when you're standing up. But that's probably going to be a while down the road if your toes are very crinkly. So that is a good one to add to your regular rotation. I will add the updates once I get to the updates so that you can continue your journey with me in getting stronger toes for a healthier foot and, of course, better walking as well. And, of course, if you want more, the best place to be is my newsletter. I've got a sign-up link in the... Um, in the comments below. So I hope you like this. I hope you share it. I hope you use it and I hope you benefit from it. Let me know how it goes. I will catch you soon. Bye.